Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to activate a new Rogers SIM card. Before we start, hurry up and check out the suffer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you activate your new Rogers SIM card here? Well, the great thing about new Rogers here is they give you support, which in this case, they give you different articles that you might want to refer to. In this case, this is actually an article directly from Rogers.com. Now, the thing with new SIM cards here is uh, it's actually ready to use. So meaning you just need to insert this into your device and in this case, you will get connected. Now, you don't need to do anything here as long as you have service or signal, you'll be able to set up or start using your SIM card. So basically, you don't have to do anything. But just in case, like for example, you already have a SIM card, but you want to use a different one, like if you're changing your number or a new physical SIM card here, well, it's kind of different. So if you're coming from a new SIM card, what we need to do, it, or in this case, if you're coming from an old SIM card here from Rogers, what you need to do here is you need to follow the following steps. First is you need to access your Rogers account here so you can log in. So typically on their website, you should, see, you should see the My Rogers at the top, right? So you just need to open this in a new tab. And basically from here on, you want to log in into your account. But once you've logged in, what you need to do is you just need to select the option that says change SIM. And from then on, you need to enter the number that you've actually want to change to. Now, in this case, uh, what you need to do is you just need to enter the verification code for uh, that you receive here. And from then on, enter your new SIM card details and be sure to select physical SIM. Now from here, you want to enter your 20-digit SIM number of your new SIM card, then click on save and continue. Now make sure to review all your details here, but you're answer sure, just click on proceed to confirm and click on done to start your, or in this case, to start using your device. Now you want also you want to also restart your device here, just in case that, uh, you if you encounter any problems, but in this case, just start it and you should be good. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.